The Genshin impact from Tivit is interwoven with the mysterious Red Hunter. The power of fire can ignite the dark world. The Red of War floats in the realm of Ninja, and I will break all the shadows and shackles. Yuzibo Beacon smiled disdainfully at the six immortals standing still in the pure land, and raised his burning long sword in his hand. Keywords of the Novel The Road of the Fire God starting with the Fire Shadow without a pop dot up window, The Road of the Fire God starting with the Fire Shadow. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapters of The Road of the Fire God starting with the Fire Shadow. Chapter 1 Training and Tasks you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Training and Tasks Mu Yi lived for 32 years. In the third month of spring, all things sprout. In the forest, which appears slightly gloomy due to its dense branches, large trees that have just received morning sunlight are suffering from inhumane torture. Round targets, big and small, were tied to a variety of strange tree trunks, with their respective orientations appearing diverse. It looks more like a child's prank than a target. In the early morning, the leaves and branches were still filled with thick moisture, and droplets of transparent dew shimmered on them. The early birds also chirped and flew back and forth. A little boy who looked very handsome, but always seemed to have a hint of ridicule, stood in the woods, calmly weighing the sharp swords in his hand. A gust of wind blew by, and the sword in hand that was originally up and down had disappeared. With the sound of breaking through the air, several slightly invisible steel wires revealed their traces in the early morning sunlight, and the swords in their hands began to wave wildly in the sky. His skillful and sophisticated techniques, as well as his calm and sharp gaze, make it clear at a glance that he has a solid foundation. And as the swords in his hands swiftly shuttle through the tree trunk, he throws them out as if they were flying wildly in the air. Show bang show 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 bang. The hand swords that originally appeared to be just flying randomly were guided by swaying steel wires one by one, swirling, colliding, and bouncing apart. One by one, the hand swords flickered with dangerous colors and danced freely in the dense bushes. A series of breaking winds sounded, knocking down countless branches and leaves, and under the cover of the hand swords that collided recklessly, hidden and silent hand swords interspersed among them. The speed of the swords in the air became faster and the angles became more eerie, but after a complex collision and guidance. Accompanied by the sound of breaking through the air and sparks born from collisions. The sword in his hand, flying all over the sky, pierced into the hidden and eerie targets at a strange angle. Looking at his still unstoppable ninja throwing technique, the beacon finally showed a satisfied smile. After several basic physical exercises such as running, push-ups, and frog jumps to warm up, the beacon fire pulled the sun will knife from one side of the tree stump. After taking a long breath, the beacon slowly came to a big tree and waved on its own. As the long sword swung, the beacon fire also kept adjusting its breathing. As time slowly passed, the breathing of the beacon became more stable and the mind became more focused. The sun slowly brushed through the sky, and the forehead of the beacon fire was covered in beads of sweat the size of soybeans. The originally slim-fitting clothes were soaked in sweat, sticking sticky to the body. The beacon fire was not interrupted by the sweat on his body during training. On the contrary, his eyes became brighter as the sun rose. On the originally ordinary long sword, ripples resembling flames gradually spread. As the breathing continued to adjust, the beacon gradually found that strange feeling. Breath of Fire One type round dance With a silent murmur in his heart, he unconsciously took half a step forward and bent down to wave his long sword. A round flame of flame spread across the knife, and a circular blade of air flew out, directly cutting open the big tree in front of him. With a loud roar, the big tree in front of me fell and splashed with smoke and dust. As the flames dissipated, the beacon fire itself fell to the ground, gasping for breath, and a white smoke spurted out from its nose. Looking at the big tree that had been cut open in front of him, the beacon finally breathed a sigh of relief. The burning pain hit his lungs, but he couldn't help but laugh. 
The originally tense mind instantly relaxed, and the fatigue brought by prolonged practice instantly overwhelmed him. A wave of soreness and pain surged from all over the body, causing one foot to soften and fall directly onto the ground. At first, he could barely force himself to get up, but before he could even support himself, Yuzibo Beacon Fire felt his arms aching and unable to lift them up. I sighed inwardly, feeling that my seven-year-old body couldn't withstand the turmoil. Helplessly, Yuzibo Beacon could only rub his stiff and sore arms while slowly picking up the herbal tea on one side and drinking it. Yuzibwa sipped the herbal tea in the thermos, feeling a sense of comfort surging from his stomach to his limbs. The soreness on his body suddenly dissipated. After exclaiming that Yuzibo was truly a wealthy family in the ninja world, Fenghua took a few more sips of herbal tea and felt the fading sourness and dizziness. After the dizzy feeling of heatstroke and the sour feeling of training passed, the feeling of hunger suddenly hit. The beacon fire quickly took out several rice and vegetable roll from the package and ate them on its own. As his stomach filled up, the beacon fire felt much better in his body. Looking at the already rising sun, he still shifted his gaze to the panel in front of him. Wanjia Lottery System Host Azibo Beacon Fire Age Seven Years Old Influence Kiba Hidden Village Member of the Uchiha family slash first year student at Ninja School Strength. 0.4 Standard Ninchakra, Yuzibo Ninja, slash Sequence 9. Hunter Personal Abilities. Basic 3 Body Technique, Mastery, Instant Body Technique, Mastery, and Fireball Technique Store. Black Iron Chest. 100 Essences, Bronze Chest. 1000 Essences, Silver Chest. 10,000 Essences, Gold Chest. 1000000 Essences Essence. 100 Items. Sun Will Knife Asterisk 1, Black Iron, Sun Breathing Technique Scroll, Bronze, Task. Welfare Task, Exclusive Benefits for Newcomers, The Road to Potions. Completely Digest Hunter Potions. Reward. Essence Asterisk 100. Incomplete, main task. Nishin. Obtaining recognition from one of the five Nishin villages, or having a strength evaluation that exceeds the standards of most Nishins. Reward. Randomly draw once, extract 500, main quest activated, completed, reputation task genius. The consensus to obtain the name of genius. Reward. Essence 200. Watching the tasks completed on his system, Fenghua couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, as every unboxing of the system greatly enhanced his strength. At the beginning, the beacon fire that arrived in this world was just reborn into ancient Japan with memories. Although feeling hopeless about a life without internet and traffic in the future, it is not unacceptable to waste decades of youth. And when he saw his father's ping-pong racket printed on the back of his clothes later on, Yuzibo Fenghua was completely bewildered. The reputation of the three major migrant workers in the past life of Azibo Fenghua is also as piercing as thunder, and the eye legend of Huaying is also a memory of his school days. Although many memories have become blurred due to time constraints. I only have a slight understanding of a certain era of non-combustible materials in the future, but my memory of Naruto's experiences and some famous scenes is still relatively clear. For Uchiha, who lived in his memoirs and laboratory at the beginning, he is also quite clear. After all, everyone knows that Naruto, also known as I Legend or Meitong Era, is a major attraction of Naruto. The flashy kaleidoscope of Uchiha's family is a highlight of Naruto. Originally, Fenghua was still very fond of the Uchiha clan, after all, Uchiha's dominance is truly the dream of 900 million men but he has no idea about crossing into the pitfalls of the ninja realm and the brain with frequent mental illnesses, as well as the Uchiha clan, who are all members of the top management. After all, watching a fight with a mental illness is completely different from fighting oneself with a mental illness. It can even be said that even if he travels through time and becomes an ordinary person, he is luckier than Uchiha. Right. 
Yes, most ordinary people are experimental materials slash war refugees slash aristocratic serfs. Chua, hooking into the eight ninja realms, even dogs won't come. Seeking tickets, seeking collections. If you see any plot of discouraging, please let me know. As a new author, every piece of advice is important. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Current Situation of Beacon Fires. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Current Situation of Beacon Fires But as the beacon gradually grew, he also confirmed that he had come to the ward.torn realm of ninja and was still a part of the background board of the Son of Fate. One of the two major families of the Warring States period and the two major families of Kiba, the Laughing Clan, and the Uchiha Clan, a gathering place for mental illness. Unlike the relaxed freehand style when reading novels, the thought of facing such a major event as the extermination of the Uchiha clan made him tremble with fear and occasionally felt a chill in his spine. It can be said that Uchiha Beacon spent his childhood in fear, and as soon as he dreamed, he saw Uchiha Itachi with a face adorned with a decree tattoo appear beside him, stabbing him in the swaddling clothes. If it weren't for Uchiha Beacon's belief in killing his peers from birth and his efforts to learn the language of the ninja world, he would have been able to roughly understand his parents' conversations before confirming this matter. Afterwards, he also heard important historical information from his neighbors that Fuyue, the head of the clan, had achieved excellent results in the ninja school. Yuzibo Beacon estimates that he will be scared to death in his swaddling clothes before Yuzibo Itachi is born. Based on the memories of his past life, it was estimated that it would take at least a decade for the exterminated Erwuzi to be born, and it was only then that Yuzibo Fungwa finally breathed a sigh of relief. But later on, the Uchiha beacon did not relax, but rather longed for strength and wanted to quickly acquire its own strength. After all, the ninja realm itself is a meat grinder. According to the estimation made by Uchiha Beacon from his previous life reading novels, Uchiha Beacon feels that he may have to go through at least the three battles of the meat grinder. However, compared to the soil training class that needs to be graduated early, Fenghua should not have entered the battlefield early, and there was no precedent for recruiting children to the battlefield in the Second Ninja World War. But it's not safe either, after all, ghosts know what World War II is all about. With just a few words from comics and television, how can a war be fully presented? As for the fourth battle, it still depends on whether he can survive until that time. And just thinking about facing the baptism of the ninja war, at that time, the beacon was still a college student who had never even killed a chicken in his past life. The thought of this made his hands and feet cold. As for refusing to become a ninja and choosing to spend one's life as a commoner. That is to hand over one's own life to others and rely on their mercy to save Schro Dinger's life. Not to mention the repeated attacks that Muba suffered, just the character of Koying, the experiments of Orochimaru, and the spies of various ninja villages, let the beacon feel that Chukra's power is also good. Although he doesn't have much concept of the specific casualties of the ninja world war, he knows very well about the two world wars in his past life. Thinking about the bloody battlefield in the future, the face of the beacon fire couldn't help but turn pale. In addition, Uchiha's surname destined that he would not be able to escape the future extermination event. Even without Uchiha Itachi, there would still be Uchiha cats, Uchiha dogs, and other chaotic creatures emerging as high dot ranking assassins of Kiba, and even Kiba's direct attacks. A series of life threatening talismans lay before his eyes, and of course, he might die in a corner of the battlefield before the so-called Night of Extermination arrived. To overcome this dilemma, the most important thing is strength. Even to protect himself and his family, he still needs sufficient strength, and his innate blood ties and family ties make it difficult for him to do things alone. The idea of defection never appeared in his mind, not to mention the chaotic situation in the ninja world and the quality of life of rebellious ninja, the survival pressure that the single Uchiha will face is not so simple. The temptation of the strongest blood-stained family in the ninja world is not ordinary. Leaving the protection of the family and village, waiting for him is the pursuit of various forces. The best outcome is to become a breeding stallion, 
perhaps reduced to experimental material after repeated crushing, or die from assassination by other forces. Not every Uchiha is a Uchiha Itachi with a kaleidoscope, nor is every Uchiha Sasuke blessed by the three ninjas. How dare you go up Liangshan without three or three people? Is it true that leaving the tea restaurant like Mai is just to deliver takeout to others? Not to mention facing endless pursuit from the dark side of Kiba. If you really want to change the fate of Uchiha and himself, you still need to come back. Adequate status and strength are the guarantee of everything. In terms of power, Uchiha, who was imprisoned by the second dot generation in the police department, naturally has no room for improvement. But Uchiha's police department, as long as it ignores the law enforcement power divided by organizations such as the Dark and Root, is also nominally an important department of Kiba. Although the minister of police in the Uchiha Toyoka stage was only a minor role that was optional in front of the high dot ranking officials in Kiba. At this point, sufficient strength is a must dot have for discourse power. Whether it is to enhance one's own strength to deter Kiba from using the mouse, or to unite the power of Uchiha and form alliances with other families to protect oneself. In the Uchiha clan that values power, reasoning without strength is provocative trash talk, and reasoning without strength is also reasonable. Big fists, you are the boss. Although not everyone can believe you, it can make those who don't believe you disappear. So, from a young age, Beacon Fire has had a strong desire for power, even to the point of madness. But the control from his parents made it impossible for him to come into contact with things like chakra refinement books too early. Moreover, the young body and fragile meridians also shattered the expectation of Uchiha's beacon fire winning at the starting line and killing its peers. Therefore, in the first two years, he could only eat and exercise as much as he could, and strive to improve his physical fitness. It can be said that among children of the same age as Uchiha, Uchiha Beacon Fire has the confidence to rely on its strength to claim to be a little tyrant. Until the day of his third birthday, Uchiha Beacon Fire, who had shown early maturity and wisdom since childhood, finally learned the chakra extraction technique from his parents. Since then, under the guidance of their parents, Fenghua has been exercising and refining chakras every day. In his almost desperate third month, the beacon finally extracted the first chakra. And besides letting the beacon recognize that their talent was not very good, with the appearance of chakra. His system also emerged, opening up system cheats for him in this world. The extraordinary ability obtained from Hunter Sequence 9 in the mysterious Lord through the standard opening gift package of the system. The physique of the beacon fire has been greatly enhanced once again, and the talent extracted by chakra has also been greatly enhanced. In terms of pure strength, even his older brother Uchiha Wildfire, who is five years older than him, almost cannot match him. Even with the rapid growth of chakra, Wildfire often doubts life after practicing. Perhaps what makes Wildfire most grateful is that his Uchiha bloodline has made his physique much stronger than ordinary people, at least not surpassing his younger brother. Unlike his older brother's envy, Fenghua knows his own situation. His talent for chakra is extremely poor, and it is only due to cheating that he appears extraordinary, mainly achieved through the physical fitness improved by taking hunter potions. And now, being regarded by my elder brother as a true genius, Uchiha Beacon Fire, as I finally completed the system task, I couldn't help but feel a sense of joy and an urge to cry in my heart. He had long abandoned the idea of relying on the system to directly surpass the gods with just one click. After all, even if the physical fitness of ninjas in the ninja world is too average, it is not easy to master ninjutsu, including three body techniques and ninja throwing, which are only needed for the ninja reserve at the age of three or four. Fenghua dares to guarantee that even some ninja school thugs may not be able to master the skills they currently possess even if they endure until graduation. In terms of ninja throwing alone, even some graduated ninjas and Nakano may not be as good as Uchiha Beacon Fire now. It can be said that Fenghua always feels like he's handling the scripts of Uchiha Itachi in Uchiha Shizuki, except for opening the Sharingan. This often makes Beacon Fire, who thinks they idolize Uchiha, doubt life. 
Moreover, the system requires not only mastery, but also so dot called proficiency. And who knows that the so dot called proficiency requirements are so high. When he just barely learned these basics of ninjutsu, the system showed it was 1 slash 100, and now it has taken him nearly 2 years to reach 100 out of 100. Although the three-body technique is somewhat difficult, it is relatively easy to learn with its mature mind far stronger than that of children and the keen intuition bestowed upon it by hunters. But the seemingly simple ninja throw has blocked him completely in front of the 100% threshold for half a year. During this period, the system had no response at all, as if it was just a carrot hanging in front of a mule. Although the dull and agonizing time was filled with despair for the inexperienced Uchiha Beacon, Uchiha Beacon, who recognized his physical talent through chakra refining, had no choice. Knowing in my heart that my system is the only way to escape the fate of death in the future, I can only constantly hunt to digest magic potions while practicing various basic ninjutsu techniques without worrying about sleep or food. Avoid proficiency degradation before task settlement. Even while eating and sleeping, Fenghuo was contemplating the use of his sword and kuwu. He even memorized all kinds of boring formulas about painless throwing in his brother's ninja school textbook. A series of classics from his family have been repeatedly reviewed by him, and as the father of Shangren, Ido has taken the time to personally teach him. During this period, Fenghua had countless thoughts of giving up, but after thinking about the bitterness that pierced his throat in his dream it can be said that if I had studied so hard in my past life, I wouldn't have been able to enter any school in my past life, not to mention 985 or 211. Even with the support of numerous resources and the hunter's inherent ability to master weapons, it took Yuzibo Beacon Fire nearly a year to barely reach the proficiency level of the system evaluation criteria. Looking at the task I finally completed, I recall the many preparations and exercises I made to complete it. Even though he has been a person of two generations, Uchiha Beacon Fire, who considers himself determined, couldn't help but feel a slight urge to vomit blood. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Pig Bulge. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Pig Bulge Looking at the lottery opportunity that he had finally won, Yuzibo Fenghua was not prepared to draw directly, but secretly suppressed his excitement and impulse. Empty his entire soul and rest quietly on the tree, he doesn't know how much time he hasn't had a good rest. The gentle wind caressed his cheeks, and the crisp chirping of birds washed away his fatigue. After taking a break for a while, the beacon fire moved its hands and feet, feeling that the soreness in its body had dissipated for the most part. It slowly supported the big tree behind it and stood up. Looking at the sun in the sky, I stretched my waist comfortably. Moving over to the side, he set up a trap and caught the rabbits and pheasants he had captured today. Skillfully throwing stones to knock them unconscious, then throwing them into the prepared bag. At this moment, a roaring sound reached the ears of the beacon fire in the sky. Listening to the familiar sound, the beacon instinctively took out a sharp kuwu from his waist and jumped up the big tree next to him in three or two steps. In the distant woods, waves of smoke and dust rolled and roars came. Looking at the smoke and dust in the distance, the beacon fire couldn't help but frown. After training here for half a year, he naturally knew the fixed range of the large beasts nearby, and also knew that they were regularly screened and cleaned by the Kanoha ninjas. Such a manic creature should have been chopped into eight pieces and sent to a barbecue restaurant long ago. After all, this forest is also considered the outskirts of the Forest of Death, and it is a place where most of the students from Nishin and Nishin schools see blood. If it were really a powerful and bloodthirsty beast, it would be impossible to deceive the ninjas who have sensed humans into entering this forest. With the intention of watching the excitement, the beacon fire threw the two big white rabbits in its hand onto the ground and ran towards the direction of smoke and dust. The chakra training technique of stepping on trees was trained as early as when he was learning the three-body technique, and it was precisely through the chakra control of tree climbing that the beacon fire's three-body technique was able to be fully cultivated compared to the morning months of ninja throwing. And relying on the chakra absorption of climbing trees, the beacon fire rushed straight from the top of the tree, 
quickly approaching the environment ahead. I saw a giant wild boar as tall as three meters running wildly on the ground, repeatedly hitting the thick trees. The collision caused the entire forest to be covered in smoke and dust, and wild beasts fled from their direction one by one. Just as the beacon was pondering what was going on with this wild boar, a group of little ghosts, who looked several years younger than the beacon, emerged from the smoke. Running wildly one by one, shouting and shouting as they ran. But in the face of the big commotion caused by the wild boar, it didn't have much effect, even the nearby beacon fire could only hear a vague sound of whimpering. Under the cover of smoke and dust, the beacon seemed to see several familiar figures. Before he could even think, he saw a group of little ghosts wearing the Uchiha clan emblem running through the big tree beneath him. Before he could go down to save someone, a bad feeling arose in his heart. I saw the wild boar rushing towards the big tree he was standing on, and the tree at the foot of the beacon was pushed to the ground by the wild boar. The beacon had already jumped directly onto the nearby tree as soon as it arrived, unharmed, but its gaze became somewhat dangerous. Not to mention the relationship between the people below and themselves, but this wild boar has already been on the menu in the heart of the beacon fire. The hunter magic potion inside the body seemed to also feel the thoughts of the beacon fire, with warm currents flowing through the body. The pain brought by half a day of training disappeared directly, replaced by boiling blood and fighting spirit. After measuring their own strength, the beacon fire, driven by the fighting spirit, quickly chased towards the direction where the few people had just run away. The hunter's tracking ability and oversized target made it impossible for him to lose them, and soon he came behind the wild boar. I don't know if it's a beacon fire illusion, but he feels like the wild boar's footsteps are a bit unusual in front of him. But the beacon fire, which was preparing for battle, didn't pay attention. A moment later, it came to the side of the wild boar and threw out a painless handle, intending to attract the attention of the wild boar and buy time for those few tribes. But to the surprise of the beacon fire, the painless chi gen he threw at the wild boar disappeared into its eye socket, almost dividing its eyes into several parts. But the wild boar in front of him only let out a painful cry, completely changing the attacking target's thoughts and continuing to chase the several Uchiha little ghosts ahead. A series of question marks flashed through Feng Hua's mind, and he really didn't know how his few people managed to attract hatred like this. At first glance, he knew they were good candidates for hunters. These thoughts flashed through the mind of the beacon fire, as it passed over the wild boar from the side and quickly arrived at a tree several times larger than before, several meters tall. After throwing several swords into the hands of the Uchiha little ghosts below to attract attention, the beacon fire quickly threw out the Wufeng Kuo, which was wrapped in steel wire, and the mechanism was quickly set up. As Kuo flew out, the beacon quickly made a simple large net between several big trees. And a child of Uchiha, who had also received ninja training, ran towards the direction of the beacon fire when he saw the sword flying in his hand. Watching the blade less Kyumo hanging from the tree, he quickly grabbed the grip and the tree pulled by the steel wire brought a force, throwing several Uchiha children who were originally on the ground from the ground. And the beacon fire swung down like Spider-Man in the movie, swiftly catching the four children who had flown into the sky and throwing them all onto the branches of a nearby tree. And the wild boar below continued to relentlessly hit the big tree, with its crimson right eye and incomplete pale left eye, combined with its ugly pig face, causing several bear children who had just climbed up the tree to experience leg weakness. However, the beacon fire did not behave as recklessly as they did during the training in this forest for half a year. He has also seen and killed many wild beasts, and he has also killed a large wild beast like the wild boar below. The wild boar below may seem terrifying, but in the eyes of Feng Hua, as long as an ordinary person with strong psychological resilience can endure it with the help of the three-body technique. Apart from his unremarkable brute strength and a layer of thick skin rolling out of the mud, there is nothing to be praised for. If only he were here, he could kill this beast with a few simple traps. But after a few glances at the little ghost around him, the beacon still suppressed this idea. Being too strong at this age is not a good thing. 
the previous flashy performances were already eye-dot-catching. If his talent is too strong and he catches the eye of the higher-ups, will his plan to spend six years at ninja school soon fall through? He doesn't want to graduate early and experience the bloodshed on the battlefield. The battlefield of World War II was not easy to retreat completely. He didn't want to see the poison of mountain pepper fish, the assassination mechanisms of puppet troops, and the bombing of explosive forces and other unique cultures of the ninja world early on. So, without full confidence, Fiberholm habitually concealed its own strength. If it weren't for these little ghosts being their own clan members, I'm afraid they would have just stood up and left the third police company before the beacon fire, so they wouldn't have been involved in the current situation. After taking a deep glance at the little ghosts, the beacon still spoke up to comfort them. Although a few people may be similar in age, the height of the beacon fire is already more than half of them, and the overall temperament is also relatively mature. With the familiar ethnic emblem on the beacon fire's body, the originally tense few people's expressions calmed down a lot. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Hearing the Name of One's Genius You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Hearing the Name of One's Genius Before the Beacon Fire Could Ask Any Questions, several people spoke one by one about the reason they came here. The lack of coherence in the preface and subsequent remarks made Funghua feel a bit headache. After roughly sorting out the words of the few people, Funghua also understood their meaning. Roughly speaking, their father always said that a person of the same clan had mastered the three-body technique at an age similar to theirs, and their strength was almost comparable to that of endurance. They even trained in the death forest every day. A few bear children feel that their fatherly love has been separated, and their family is also more strict with them, resulting in a significant reduction in their daily play time and pocket money. It makes them feel that their precious time saving the world, mischievous and mischievous, is being taken up, and they feel that their parents no longer love them. So they secretly broke into the outskirts of the death forest with a rebellious mentality, preparing to prove their abilities through a hunt. After experiencing getting lost, lost, and lost again, I happened to encounter the poor wild boar below. According to the understanding of Funghua, it roughly means that the four little ghosts got lost and encountered the wild boars playing in a poker tournament. The four little ghosts' suicidal spirit arose, and they threw the kowu and sword in their hands randomly. In the end, they successfully helped the wild boar below complete the achievements of Egg in Maruju and Lonely Testis. As for the details, especially about how the big brother of the wild boar was easily pierced by the small sword in his hand, the beacon cannot guess. But Funghua was very confident that this wild boar must have experienced cruel torture. Funghua looked pitifully at the wild boar below, looking unconsciously towards its body. This glance seemed to completely anger the gradually tired wild boar below, and waves of blood and tears flashed in its originally red eyes. I saw the wild boar thrust forward and crazily arched the big tree under the five people's bodies, such as the beacon fire, as if it was not deadly. Even if you smash your head and your fangs into small pieces, you don't care. And from the blood and tears filled pig's eyes, it seemed that Beacon Fire could see other emotions besides madness. It was the resonance from male creatures that made Beacon Fire understand that this was the gaze of intelligent creatures seeking death. So the beacon decided to continue waiting. Since this wild boar has intelligence, he naturally won't simply rush down and act recklessly. He just keeps adjusting the steel wire he just released in his hands, preparing his hind legs. Hunters don't need pity. Every hunting must be done to the best of one's ability. The hunting achievements of hunters are the result of countless preparations and hindrances. This is Funghua's idea of summarizing the playing rules, but to his disappointment, his playing progress is still very slow, and he has been hunting in the forest for half a year without fully digesting the magic potion. I only have a partial understanding of the beacon fire of the mysterious master, and besides lamenting that I can't compare to Mr. Ku, there is nothing I can do. Suddenly, the beacon seemed to have thought of something, as if their previous descriptions were a bit familiar. He turned his head and asked, 
who are you talking about as the genius of Uchiha? It seems like he hasn't heard any mention of any genius in his clan. Yujibwa, who had a slightly chubby cheek, cleverly responded with a shout, Brother, that guy's name is Yujibwa Beacon Fire. It is said to be a descendant of Elder Mirror, and his father is the deputy minister of the police department. Because he had just run away and cut a small wound on his forehead, Uchiha Junji, who looked a bit fierce in his eyes, directly squeezed Uchiha next to him and let out a cry. Glancing lightly at him with his eyes, he then spoke up and said, Brother, that guy is just an outsider of Yuzibo. Not only does he not play with us, but he has also punched us since childhood. And he also favors outsiders. Once when we were playing with him, he actually helped the foreigners bully us. You must help us seek revenge and the three people around him were stunned for a moment, and then nodded slightly. Funghua listened to his words and his eyes began to become strange. The face that originally looked a bit unfamiliar due to dust suddenly became familiar, aren't these the childish ghosts I fought against back then? You should know that the former beacon fire also existed as a small tyrant carrying the baton of Uchiha, with no opponents under the age of three. And during a stroll, I saw these guys bullying a commoner girl, grabbing lollipops, so I naturally didn't want to watch them anymore. By directly relying on their skilled physical skills and early intentional exercise, they were knocked to the ground and completed Pentakill's achievements. As for later, Funghua obtained its own system cheat and no longer played with peers within the Uchiha clan. Just looking for opportunities to hunt every day, while working hard to learn ninjutsu and refine chakras. For that fight, it was just a trivial matter thrown aside. It's just that the beacon fire didn't expect to just come and watch the excitement, and by the way, save the tribe members and meet these old acquaintances. After sighing about the unpredictability of fate, the beacon fire looked at a few little ghosts with a benevolent expression. Do you know who I am? In the background sound of wild boar roaring and crashing, Yuzibo couldn't help but shiver as he felt a chill emanating from the air. But it seemed that Uchiha Junji did not notice the change in the atmosphere in the air, and continued to ask, even ignoring Uchiha's tug at him. Continue speaking. Brother, are you? Looking at Yujibwa, who seemed to be as naive as his brother, Feng was said with a strange expression on his face. I am under the command of the Uchiha Beacon, please give me more guidance. Listening to the words of the beacon fire, Uchiha Junji's visible expression froze, and his face was filled with disbelief and bewilderment. Muttering things like, this is impossible. And Yujibwa next to him turned pale on his visible face, with panic written all over his face. After speaking, the beacon turned its head and continued to look at the wild boar underground, giving a few little ghosts a chance to relax. After all, is there anything more awkward than speaking ill of someone who saved his life and ultimately being certain that he wouldn't be able to fight? Funghua believes that social death is more prevalent than real life death for Uchiha's ninjas. Shame is even more terrifying for Uchiha than losing his life. So the beacon fire did not further stimulate them, after all, he didn't care about the opinions of a few little devils, and it was just a joke before. Moreover, another question arose in the heart of the beacon fire. How did you know that my strength is comparable to, endure, dot? Funhua didn't hold the problem in his heart and directly asked a few people. The few people who were still awkwardly pulling the tree were a bit confused when they heard the words of the beacon fire, but the clever Uchiha's sound instantly reflected and he spoke quickly. I heard it from my older brother. He said it's your brother, Wildfire, who has been helping you promote the name of genius everywhere. Yes, yes, we also heard it from my older brother. Several little ghosts who had reacted also echoed in unison. Listening to their speech, Funhua's eyes changed and he squinted as he looked at them. He values his intelligence very much, and since mastering the three-body technique, Funhua has been his training. No one knows his specific strength except for his old father, Yujibwa, who has been fighting for a lifetime, and Wildfire naturally does not know either. Therefore, these little ghosts must have something to say, and Wildfire subconsciously intends to force them. After hunting in the death forest for a long time, 
he naturally developed a murderous aura. Although not worth mentioning compared to the ninjas on the battlefield, he felt a great sense of oppression towards a few little ghosts. In the eyes of Funghua, his so dot called murderous aura was just ordinary, but he seriously overestimated the will of Yujibwe Yiming and others. Originally, the four of them were hungry for half a day when they got lost, but later they were chased by wild boars who went crazy. With little physical strength, they were all weak under the gaze of the beacon fire. Yuzibo's legs trembled like a sieve when he let out a cry, and even the beacon fire was afraid that he might fall directly from the tree trunk. Looking at the few little ghosts who were so nervous that they couldn't speak, Funghua reluctantly withdrew his crude murderous aura. Then, pretending nothing had happened, he continued to ask questions with a wooden face. Tell me what's going on. A few little ghosts seemed to be still immersed in the previous murderous aura, trembling and hesitant to speak. Just as the beacon fire felt a hint of guilt in its heart, intending to soothe them. Previously, in the eyes of Funghua, Uchiha Junji, who was reckless and naive, was the first to react from his murderous aura and reluctantly spoke up. I heard from my elder brother that it seems to be you. Your elder brother caught the attention of the elders in the clan while promoting. Afterwards, the elder personally verified your strength, and then rumors began to spread about the genius of Uchiha's beacon fire upon hearing what Juenji had said, Funghua couldn't help but pinch his palm and tear off a thick layer of bark from the tree he was supporting. Funghua never expected that his hard dot earned hidden strength would be exposed in the boasting of his own silly brother. But now that everything is done, out of confidence in the big mouth of the wildfire guy, it is estimated that there are rumors about him as a genius that no one but himself knows. Moreover, the elite gaze of the elders was not something he could detect. After greeting the children and grandchildren of the wildfire, the beacon fire could only record this account in a small notebook. Although the beacon fire was angry, the wildfire was not by his side after all. I can only ignore this matter for now and focus my attention on the little ghost in front of me. Funghua looked into Yuzibo Juenji's eyes and raised his eyebrows, creating a surge of pressure. And Uchiha Junji also stared closely at the eyes of the beacon fire, although there was a hint of fear, he did not flinch or dodge at all. Looking at the resolute and fearless clan brother in front of me, a hint of appreciation rose in the heart of the beacon fire. Not to mention his strength and talent, his courage and ability to overcome fear are enough to impress him. The idea of taking him as his younger brother instantly rose in the heart of Funghua. Suddenly, a gurgling sound came from the side, interrupting the beacon's thoughts. Yujibwa's face, which was originally pale due to the murderous aura of the beacon fire, immediately turned red with a roar. Next, the stomachs of the other four people seemed to feel the call and began their own calling directly. For a moment, the entire trunk was filled with the roar of hunger. The beacon fire looked at the four people with red faces, and took out several rice and vegetable roll from the small bag behind with unchanged faces, without the appearance that their stomach was also making a noise. Looking at the beacon fire as usual, Yiming and Juenji looked much better, silently took the rice and vegetable roll in the hands of beacon fire and ate it. Funghua received the answer, with the idea of preparing his beloved oni sauce in his heart, and no intention of arguing with Yiming and a few little ghosts. The atmosphere on the tree trunk also calmed down with the arrival of rice and vegetable roll, and the relationship seemed to be closer after we lost each other together. Although they were not good friends, they also became familiar to a certain extent. Requesting Comments, End of this Chapter Chapter 5 Hunting Moments You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Hunting Moments After taking a break for a while, a few people asked questions like annoying monkeys from Mount Ame. Like what, boss, how did you become so strong? Boss, how do we escape from here? Boss, can you train us together? Does boss like the little girl they bullied back then? Boss, you. Watching the mature young man who had regained his childlike nature, Fong Hua also sighed. Originally, According to his previous ideas, he gradually accumulated strength and relied on the extraordinary path of hunters to accumulate strength. 
Over the past few years, he gradually developed and finally amazed the entire ninja world, which was the path he had envisioned. But the plan did not change because of the efforts of my dear Ernie, the original hidden plan of Funghua was directly interrupted. So the beacon decided not to pretend anymore. Since the original script couldn't go down, he had to take the initiative to tear up the script. As for the next direction, Funghua has also had ideas for a long time. Since the sharpness has already been revealed, let's just shine our own light. He, who couldn't keep going, could only reluctantly pave the way for himself to take charge of Yuzibo under the name of a genius. A halo flashed in the eyes of the beacon fire, and they turned to chat with a few little ghosts who had just been saved, accepting the title of their leader. A few younger brothers started chatting more excitedly, and there were more and more questions. With a certain purpose in mind, Fenghua also chatted with them. As for the weak wild boar below, they silently ignored it. Since the bitterness of the beacon fire shot into the eyes of the wild boar, the fate of death was inevitable for it. The madness at this moment is just a struggle before death, and it is not worth the trouble of the beacon fire. After all, isn't it normal to apply a little bit of poison on a ninja? For the four young ghosts who were just four years old, their attention had already shifted away from the wild boar. They can still remember that this wild boar was all due to the wild boar below working hard to hit the tree. After a brief chat, Fenghua also gained some understanding of their home. They are either the grandchildren of some elder or the children of a police captain, and can be said to have extraordinary identities, not much less than the beacon fire. Of course, the beacon fire was not surprised by this. Although Uchiha is not as strict as other ninja tribes, he also has close and distant relationships. On the surface, the ninja resources received by different families are equal. Every month, the clan prepares medicinal baths and various items such as special herbal tea and excellent ninja tools from the public account to enhance the cohesion within the clan. Ordinary people can only rely on the resources provided by their tribe for cultivation, but second-generation and third-generation people like beacon fires naturally have tutoring and small stoves at home. Otherwise, how could the four of them, who are only around five years old, persist until the beacon fire arrives under the pursuit of wild boars? Of course, this does not mean that ordinary clan members have no way out. As long as they have exceptional talents or have opened the bloodline inheritance limit, the elders and clan leaders within the clan will consciously prepare resources to attract and cultivate them. Moreover, Uchiha's talent is famously random, with the clan leader producing three kaleidoscopes in a single lineage, which is impressive. But Uchiha, who comes from a collateral background, is even more outrageous. From Uchiha's shame to enduring only one battle among the elites. Later on, he jumped two levels directly to the kaleidoscope, and even Uchiha was not as outrageous as him. More precisely, within the Uchiha clan, there is an atmosphere where the strong are above and the mediocre are below. Even if you plan to become a clan leader, you can still rely on your own strength to obtain it. Unlike in the future when Fuyue took over the position of clan leader from his father, Uchiha Itachi was directly the junior clan leader. The current clan leader was not originally a branch of the clan leader, but became a clan leader through his own means after the departure of Uchiha. Even his position in the clan was far inferior to the authority of Uchiha Fuyue, who later suppressed most elders. The current eight elders are all those who participated in the race for clan chiefs in the past, so it is still a question within the Uchiha clan who will be the next clan chief. So in the face of such an atmosphere, don't blame the beacon fire for having the intention to compete for the position of clan leader. In terms of identity, his grandfather was also one of the elders of Uchiha at the time, and his father was also a senior member of the police department. Coupled with his grandfather's relationship with the senior members of the Kiba clan, the position of clan leader is not an exception. And the few younger brothers he accepted are the cornerstone of the future takeover of the Uchiha clan by Funghua. Looking at their admiring gaze, the beacon fire, which had not rested or played for a whole year, couldn't help but feel a burst of joy. After all, humans are all social creatures, and these days the beacon fire often daydreams. 
The actions of the wildfire are just a trigger, and he himself actually had a stir in his heart early on. I want to quietly stand out and then impress everyone. Often, there is a large group of people who give up halfway because they cannot see progress. My thoughts were wandering in my heart, but in reality, the beacon fire was still chatting with excited little brothers without a trace. At this moment, the wild boar with testicular injuries that had been hitting trees below finally stopped its tree-hitting career and collapsed to the ground. The four younger brothers who had been chatting with Funghua all along also shouted happily, in their eyes, this was proof of their victory and glory. Watching the little brother dance and dance as if he was about to fall in the next second, the beacon fire shook its head inexplicably. But out of the idea of teaching them a lesson, the beacon still didn't say anything. A few younger brothers picked up the bitter nothingness in their hands with excitement on their faces, and then supported the trunk while climbing down. But before climbing down, he waved his hand to the beacon fire. Watching their slightly boastful and haughty eyes, the beacon fire gave up its original plan to scare them and jumped down directly under the surprised gaze of a few young men. A steel wire appeared at the foot of the beacon fire at an unknown time, and the beacon fire stood on the wire sliding rapidly. In the blink of an eye, the beacon fire arrived first on the ground. Watching his boss fall quickly, Juanji and his companions also prepared to climb down from the tree hand and foot. Before they could continue to climb down, a sharp beacon flame flew out with no pain, straight from behind the wild boar. The hard tail of the wild boar was cut open directly, and the bitterness attached to the chakra ran through quickly. A terrifying roar exploded directly in the forest, and the few little brothers who were originally climbing on the tree were almost shaken by this terrifying roar, and hurriedly climbed up the tree trunk again. The wild boar, which was originally lying on the ground, got up directly from the ground. Its pale left eye looked extremely disgusting and terrifying, but it was not particularly terrifying against the mask of white or red liquid on the pig's face. Watching the ninja beast in front of him, whose appearance had plummeted to the bottom, Funghua had no intention of talking nonsense. The steel wire that was originally prepared when it collided with the tree was activated, and the large net made up of slightly invisible steel wires slowly contracted. The wild boar that knew how to pretend to be dead was not the same beast as before. After realizing the danger in the air, I instinctively wanted to run out of the spider web that had been melted by the steel wire. But the injury behind him still dragged on his hind leg, and in the end, his right leg was stripped of layers of flesh and blood by steel wires, leaving only a pig version of his solitary white leg in red torn pants hanging underneath him. End of this chapter Chapter 6 One Penny Cannot Defeat the Heroic Han You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 One Penny Cannot Defeat the Heroic Han The Wild Boar, whose leg had been scraped off alive, completely collapsed on the ground, attempting to stand up and charge again and again, but under the terrifying weight and layers of injuries, it was only continuously bleeding itself. In no time, the wild boar's body turned into a pool of blood. The bright red blood mixed with the filth flowing from its abdominal cavity, and the strong odor kept the beacon fire far away. And the group of little brothers who had just climbed down from the tree also had a look on their faces, feeling that their recent actions were really embarrassing. But looking at the horrible and bloody picture on the ground, the three people still spit out the rice and vegetable roll they just ate. As for the accident, uh huh, maybe Yujibwa Yiming has completely digested the rice and vegetable roll, so in the view of Funghua, he really tried his best, but he couldn't spit it out. When their faces were almost the same, the beacon fire took them away directly, after all, his chakra consumption was also quite high. If he encountered any powerful beasts, he would probably have to run away on his own. So for the safety of these little brothers, Funghua quickly stood up and led them towards the outside of the forest. Along the way, a few people rarely spoke, partly to avoid unnecessary trouble, and partly because they had not yet emerged from the shock. Funghua also expressed understanding of this. They have witnessed this situation at such an old age, and even children in the ninja world may mature a bit early. But since we have encountered this matter, 
there is no good solution for the beacon fire, so we can only do our best to bring them back. Fortunately, due to the wild boar's commotion, the beasts near the death forest all ran away with the idea of seeking benefits and avoiding harm. The journey home for the few people was very smooth, and they soon arrived at the village. The military stronghold of my village, known as the village, has a large natural area, but the ethnic territory of Yuzibo is very large. It can be said that there is Yuzibo's industry from the core area of the village to the edge. The main area near the center is the office space of the police department, while the outer part is used as a settlement for ethnic people, while the middle part is mostly used for shops, rentals, or selling goods. It can be said that in a broad sense, the land of the Uchiha tribe can be said to occupy a vast area of one-tenth of the wooden leaves. From a narrow perspective, the territory of Uchiha can also be considered as a village within a half-border area. Of course, this is also the standard for most ninjas, but the small ninjas are not very obvious due to their size, while the big ninjas only have Uchiha, Chihiro, and Hinata. The beacon fire is not far from the homes of the few little brothers he received, but since they are all building houses on the outskirts of the village, all those with some family background in Yuzibo live in big houses, and there is enough space distance between them, especially the houses of the major elders. So the beacon did not have any intention of sending them back home, they just prepared to separate when they arrived near the tribal area. After saying a few words to them, Funghua decided to go home on his own. But afterwards, Yiming and a few others continued to follow behind the beacon fire, unwilling to leave. Just as the beacon looked at these young brothers who were hesitant to speak, suspecting whether they were in trouble because they were frightened. After looking at each other, Yiming, who had a slightly smooth figure and a more smooth personality, took a step forward. Squeezing his face, he said, Boss, can you lend us some money? Looking at the little brother in front of me, a question mark appeared on the beacon head. I'm still worried about your mental health, but you told me that you just want to borrow money, damn it. The beacon only felt that all its worries had been fed to the dog, and the look at the four of them also carried a dangerous connotation. And Yiming, who lowered his head and spoke, did not see the gaze in the eyes of the beacon fire, but whispered about his own difficulties. Boss, we lost both the kuwu and the sword in our hands when we went hunting, and these were borrowed from Grandma Cat's shop, so could you lend us some money? Looking at the four little ghosts looking down in front of him, Fenghua sighed helplessly and told himself that these were all the little brothers he had chosen. With a helpless expression on his face, Fenghua flipped through his pocket and anxiously took out his hard-dot-earned half-drum wallet. How much do you want? The beacon fire gritted its teeth and asked. Upon hearing the sound of the beacon fire, the four people who had just lowered their heads looked up one after another, ignoring the terrifying gaze of the beacon fire, and quickly spoke out their numbers. Boss, I need thirty thousand tails. I'm forty thousand yuan. I'm twenty thousand yuan. I'm thirty thousand yuan. Seeing the agreement of the beacon fire, the four of them became more and more anxious and rushed to reveal their numbers. Fenghua looked at his savings for a year and suddenly realized that Yuzibo didn't seem to need to save him, and the Sodot called clan leader was not a good job. How about throwing away these little brothers from the golden swallowing beast stage? No matter what the beacon thought in its heart, in reality, it still trembled and handed over the money in its hand. While looking at the excited little brother, Fenghua felt that he had sacrificed too much for the future of Yujibwa. If he couldn't become the clan leader, it would be unacceptable. Don't worry, boss. When I have money, I will return it to you. Juenji looked at the beacon with a serious expression, his eyes filled with determination. Aha, uh -huh, so are we. Looking at the four young brothers with serious faces, Fenghua felt in his heart that his half-life savings were not entrusted to others. I secretly suppressed my original idea of 9 out and 13 out, and decided that as long as they paid the lowest interest, it was enough. What is the lowest interest rate finally? It feels like there is no need to elaborate on it in words. Fenghua patted them on the shoulder with a look of trust, and then took them to have a big meal. Lamian noodles. 
Although Dumui does not have Yao Lamian noodles, which is loved by the son of fate, as a military town with hundreds of thousands of people, there are certainly not only one or two restaurants. They came to the Lamian noodles shop near the family's land and ate heartily. As a selected Lamian noodles restaurant of Funghua, although the taste is not the best and the environment is not the best, its advantages of good quality and low price still let Funghua open the wallet and take a hungry little brother to a full Lamian noodles journey. Funghua expressed that he was not really stingy, but... Well, Funghua touched his slightly shriveled wallet, indicating that he was just a little poor. Put down the wallet temporarily, and after Funghua had eaten five bowls of Lamian noodles, he felt he was finally full. Leaning against the chair behind him, the beacon fire relaxed while caressing its bulging belly. I went to collect my younger brother at noon when I should have had lunch. After running for half a day in the afternoon, I was not hungry at all when I was a snack of rice and vegetable roll. Having a big meal now, Funghua feels like he has finally come back to life. Under the kind gaze of the boss, Funghua settled the bill neatly and accompanied his few little brothers to pay the money at the cat granny ninja shop. Then they each returned home. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Revenge You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Revenge Skilled Greeting Several Familiar Elders, The Beacon Slowly Arrived at the Doorstep the father of Funghua is the Uchiha clan's upper ninja. Although the house in the family is not as big as the clan leader's mansion, it is also a standard small courtyard villa. Dad Ido and Mom Naime both work at the police department, and my older brother Yenhua also goes to ninja school. The beacon fire at home, where only one is at home, disregards any etiquette. After quickly taking a shower, the beacon fire returns to its room to rest. After all, in order to practice the basic ninjutsu required by the system, he had not taken a good rest for a long time. The long absence of relaxation made Fiberholm feel that his happiness and hardships during this period had finally paid off, and he slept until night. It wasn't until the maid at home called him out for dinner that he stepped out of bed and experienced the feeling of being bedridden that he hadn't experienced in over half a year. The beacon only felt that life had become wonderful again. I even had the idea of directly salting the fish in my heart. Thinking of this, the beacon suddenly shook its head and threw away its unreliable idea. After getting up and washing my face, I walked straight towards the living room. When the beacon arrived at the restaurant, the father with a paralyzed face only drank the sake in his hand in silence. If it weren't for the beacon fire and the memories of my father laughing foolishly at me and my mother when I was a child, I would probably have thought that my father was really a standard and aloof Yujibwa. Arakawa, who is already in fourth grade at ninja school, boasted about his day with his mother Naomi with a proud and coquettish expression, talking about how weak his opponents were in school. Nami just silently smiled while listening to her son's surface complaints and actual self-satisfied boasting. Looking at the scene in front of us, the beacon fire entered the living room and whispered with a slight bow, Father, Mother. The father, who originally seemed somewhat indifferent, only nodded when he saw the beacon fire coming, and then continued to drink the sake in his hand. The gentle-looking mother, Nami, directly reached out to let the beacon fire come quickly and quickly added a bowl of bean rice to him. As for the foolish oni sauce wildfire, it directly ignored the just-arrived beacon fire and continued his bragging journey. The beacon fire sat directly next to the wildfire, without caring about the noisy old man on the side. I have a strong acceptance of the fact that my elder brother is a foolish and foolish man, and I don't feel it goes against him at all. After all, the most abundant products of Uchiha are not the brainless and mentally deranged lunatics. Even if Mr. Mang is a bit foolish, he is stronger than a mentally ill person who has been brainwashed. Funghua, who had slept for a long time, was hungry. The five bowls of Lamian noodles he had eaten before seemed to be an illusion. As for Funghua, whose eyes were faintly passed by his proud brother, he had no idea. Just holding on to the sumptuous dinner on the dining table, silently drooling while burying them in the five organs temple for a feast. 
Turn a deaf ear to the arrogant remarks of my elder brother and the boastful remarks of wanting to graduate early. On the dining table, the unhappy wildfire continued to recount the process of defeating the white-eyed monster of the Hinata family during the duel. Fenghua only felt that his older brother's brain circuits were becoming increasingly abnormal. During his meal break, he found an opportunity to ask, Brother, do you like that sister from the Hinata family? Dad, who was originally silent and focused on drinking, couldn't help but turn his head and look at his eldest son when he heard these words. His eyelids twitched slightly. Meanwhile, Nami, who was sitting next to him, showed a smile from her aunt, and a hint of a smile couldn't help but appear on her face. The wildfire, which was originally as active as a monkey, seemed to be angry and ashamed, shouting loudly at the beacon fire beside him, how could it be? How could I possibly like that violent woman? Besides, how could a weak person? Humph. The entire dining table fell silent after his fierce roar, watching the wildfire blushing like a monkey's butt. Ido seemed to have seen his youth, and his former self was just like a wildfire. No, Ido shook his head secretly. He might be as foolish as his own foolish son. I secretly retracted my slander and belittled myself, after all, I thought that although I was a bit reckless when I was young, it was not as close to being foolish as wildfire. Ido couldn't help but have a slight doubt about making his son a ninja and taking over his class in the future, after all, wildfire's brain is indescribable. But after thinking about it, the wildfire is still small, so let's suppress this idea first. Looking at their son-slash-brother with a flushed face and evasive eyes in front of them, the three of them at the dining table had different expressions. After a tacit glance at each other, they both tacitly did not continue discussing this topic. Mother Nami picked up his favorite octopus ball and placed it in his bowl, touching his head. Then he scolded the beacon light lightly and said nonsense, then took the lead in eating the food. On the surface, there was no panic but the feeling of emptiness in the heart also breathed a sigh of relief. No longer chattering excitedly on his face, he just buries himself in his work and quickly cleans up the dishes in his bowl. But I also feel that I am too anxious and have been trying to suppress the idea of saying I am full. But as they watched him stuffing onions and carrots into their mouths as if they were invisible, they couldn't help but sigh in their hearts. Finally, Amidst the agony of the occasional glances from the three of them, the wildfire, which had been around for a while, shouted out like it usually does after dinner, I'm going to train. Seemingly ordinary, he actually left the restaurant somewhat stiff. Watching his foolish son run away, the father picked up a boiled egg and knocked it on the table with a bucket. Bang! Skilled by light vehicles, it peeled off. Then he turned his gaze to his youngest son, Fenghua, who was sitting next to him drinking fish soup. On one side, Nami seemed to have not seen her husband's expression, continuing to hold her favorite meatballs in the bowl of the beacon fire, only her raised ears indicating her attitude. The pressure instantly came on the beacon fire. Looking at his parents, after rolling his eyes, Fong Hua said helplessly, In the past six months, my older brother has mentioned his desk mate forty-five times at the dining table, twelve times with his eyes, and eighteen times with Hinata. When chatting with me privately, he has mentioned the topic of Hinata more than thirty times. Basically, every ten sentences cannot be separated from Rinjiao, and there must be topics related to these in fifteen sentences. The total number of times he mentioned his desk mate by the side of other tribe members playing together is about twenty times, and Hinata has mentioned it more than ten times. Of course, his desk mate has always been the white-eyed monster of Hinata's family. After finishing these words, Fenghua stopped talking further. I just silently picked up a cooked egg from the table in front of me, and used my still somewhat immature nails to learn from my father by peeling it. After peeling it off, I stuffed it directly into my mouth and picked up a glass of milk from the side. Then, holding the cup, he stood up and left his seat, walking towards his own room. After he left, Ido and Nami, who had remained silent all along, directly met each other. Looking at my wife who has been smiling with her eyes squinting, I feel the pressure all over me. 
In the end, the seemingly indifferent Doe was the first to lose the battle and spoke helplessly, it's almost impossible for the members of the Hinata clan to marry out, and it's even more impossible for them to be a future ninja awakened from bloodstains. Our son should have made plans early. Nami, who had been smiling all along, didn't think so. Her smile on her face was gentler and her tone was more gentle, saying, So what are you going to do, husband? Watching his wife with a brighter smile, a premonition of not feeling good swept over her, and her stiff face couldn't hold on anymore. With a sigh, he said helplessly, Nami, marriage between blood-stained families is not that simple. Neither the family nor the village will agree to this matter. You also know the extreme attitude of the family elders and the Hinata clan towards Bai Yen and Shuluan Yen. Even if I have some face in the police department in the village, it is impossible for me to deal with their conservative and rigid old guys. And you also know the attitude of the village towards Yuzibo, um. Very. As he spoke, a hint of bitterness flashed on his face as he picked up the sake at hand and started drinking. But on one side, Nami was not satisfied with her husband's attitude. It wasn't that she couldn't recognize the facts he said and was so indifferent to her son. I don't care about my son's first love at all, I only focus on my so-called career and village, and the time I spend with her is getting shorter and shorter. It would be irresponsible to ask for the help of a four-year-old son to speak up in the end. Now, when she encounters trouble, she is even more dissatisfied with the fact that she simply says it's okay. Adding new firewood to the old fire made Nami's anger even more intense, and her long-standing dissatisfaction erupted in an instant. Nami has always been worried about her eldest son. Although ninjas have good talent, they are too reckless and have no brain for anything. Unlike his younger brother who inherited her wit and was even more skilled than a monkey when sticking to fur, she didn't have to worry about being calculated from a young age. On the contrary, just like his father who carved it out of the same mold, he was reckless and stubborn, and could not even pull ten horses back from what he had set his sights on. From a rational perspective, she also believes that her son considers himself unlucky the best, and there is no love between Hinata and Uchiha. But as a mother, how could she bear to see her son heartbroken? And in her opinion, this matter is not completely negotiable. Although her father in Law Yuji Boeing died early, most of her former subordinates and teammates also held high positions. Out of dissatisfaction with her husband and pity for her silly son, Nami, who usually treats people politely, simply pretended not to know and patted the table. With a dissatisfied face, he said, since it is so difficult, why did you prefer to beat up the elders of Yuzibo's clan and fall out with the patriarch to marry me into your door? Why don't we pummeled horse people have the political influence you mentioned? After speaking, he stood up directly and walked towards the room, regardless of his bewildered husband. Looking at his wife's back and awkward acting skills before, he struggled to open his mouth and say something, but after some thought, he silently continued drinking. After taking a few sips, the bucket only felt dull and tasteless. After thinking about Nami's dissatisfaction just now, she instinctively took out a bottle of medicinal wine from her arms, but touched her waist and took the medicinal wine back with a bucket. Then he silently took out a cigarette from behind and walked towards the outside. He needs to think about this matter carefully, otherwise he won't know how to handle his future life. Continuously cursing my own stinky son in my heart would really cause trouble for my father. I am determined to find an opportunity to teach these two stinky boys a good lesson. Seeking collection recommendations, more seeking comments, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Causal Egg Injury You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Causal Egg Injury How can a middle-aged man deal with his beloved wife without mentioning disappointment and irritability? Returning to the room, the beacon naturally did not know, nor could it know, about the arguments between its own parents. Instead, it began to prepare its own prayer ceremony. After all, the lottery opportunity that was finally won cannot be wasted. Without paying homage to various deities, Fenhua really feels like he is at a loss. 
Just as he was about to take out the incense he had stolen from the shrine and light it, a dark shadow suddenly came from behind. The beacon fire decisively turned around and tugged at its in feet. Watching the reckless old man with a face full of pain and despair, almost crying, the beacon fire's face was full of helplessness. It seems to be expressing helplessness towards this brother. The only thing to be grateful for is that the combo of the beacon fire is not yet very proficient, which may be due to lack of practical experience, resulting in a weak attack. After making a move and turning around, he successfully discovered his brother's figure, allowing the wildfire to barely protect his brother. The beacon fire in the wildfire seems to be either thanking one's elder brother and descendants for their continued existence or regretting one's incomplete work. Looking at the twisted face of the wildfire and the helpless beacon fire, I could only find the painkillers I had taken at the beginning of my training from my own bed and forcibly gave the wildfire, which kept rolling its eyes, to eat. Is the good medicine bitter to the taste? Although wildfire's face had turned green, Beacon Fire still stuffed a whole bottle of painkillers into it for his health. Afterwards, he was directly carried back to his own room, unconscious of what the wildfire was muttering, and thrown directly onto his own bed. Afterwards, the Beacon Fire picked up a chair from the table and sat calmly by the edge of the wildfire bed, watching the caterpillar-like movement and rolling of the wildfire on the bed. It can only be said that the ninja's physique is indeed extraordinary. In less than ten minutes, the wildfire, which was originally humming, came to a halt. Although still a bit weak, I can still speak normally now. As soon as the wildfire regained its strength, it asked the beacon fire in a tone of dissatisfaction and weakness. Funhua, why did you tell your brother's secret to your parents? You disappointed me too much, humph, traitor. Watching the wildfire, sweating profusely and wetting his bedding all over, speak foolish words with a face similar to his own, the beacon fire couldn't help but want to pry his head open to see what was inside. Although there have been rumors in previous novels that Uchiha is a high dot risk area for mental illness, looking at the appearance of wildfires now is not entirely unfounded. At least wildfires are really stupid enough to get sick. Although he does have a bit of revenge in his heart, it doesn't mean he will play some kind of hard-hitting. If it weren't for this not only retaliating against the brainless operation of the wildfire, but also helping this silly brother increase the chance to solve the problem, the beacon fire wouldn't have done it directly. After rolling his eyes helplessly, the beacon fire said in a mocking tone, If you don't let dad know about you, how do you want to marry that Hinata girl back home? Relying on your current strength that even I may not be able to withstand, you are still preparing to elope directly. Don't forget that she's just splitting up, and if she disobeys the family waiting for her, she will only die. Do you have that strength? Can you bear the responsibility? Do you love her? Does she love you? Listening to O Daudu's annoying ridicule and preaching, Wildfire's face instantly turned red and he angrily interrupted, You don't need to care about my affairs. Besides, even if my parents know about it, what can we do? Who else says I like her? You're talking nonsense. Listening to my brother's foolish speech, I felt like we were completely different on the same channel. The beacon fire couldn't help but punch me, and it just hit his arrogant and flushed face. The sudden wildfire left a mark on his face from Odo Do, and his huge panda eyes appeared. Feeling the excruciating pain in his eyes, the wildfire, which was already filled with tears due to the injury to his genitals, shed painful tears. The Yuzibo Aotian Manifesto, which was originally hanging in his throat, was directly held back in his stomach and once again transformed into natural fuel through the land of grain reincarnation, preparing fuel in advance for the burning will of fire in the future. Looking at his own unpopular oni sauce, the beacon fire became furious and could only helplessly continue his unfinished words. Do you really dislike her? And why do you think my dad can become the deputy minister of the police department? Do you think my mom got married to the Uchiha family in the first place? If you really want to be with her, go talk to my dad more. If you don't know anything, just be reckless. Why are you so brave? You have to rely on yourself to make a fool of yourself, and in the end, 
you still want your dad to wipe your butt. How did dad get married back then? Does mom still use me to tell you? To be a person and do things, one must use one's brain. Looking at the still dissatisfied wildfire, the beacon fire directly supported his shoulder and said softly, seemingly gentle, think about it, my foolish oni sauce. If you're so foolish, how about I throw you to the hospital for treatment? At the beginning, the wildfire, which had not yet reacted, was still somewhat bewildered, and the pain in his crotch made him instantly understand his brother's sinister intentions. The originally naive and reckless temperament suddenly changed, and the face of the wildfire suddenly became serious and serious. Yuzibo can die, but social death is really not enough. Thinking of the scene of being surrounded by a group of people in the hospital, the wildfire couldn't help but feel a chill in its spine. After all, he knows very well what his stinky little brother is. After a series of threats, I watched the wildfire become more serious. Fumwa expressed great satisfaction. He turned around and left his room, leaving only the wildfire to cover his crotch and contemplate alone. Not to mention the bewildered wildfire, lost in thought, the beacon fire that returned to his room directly locked his door. Taking a deep breath, the beacon fire no longer dealt with the issue of wildfires. Whether it was his family, Hinata, or the village, it was not something he could impress now. With this time, it would be better to exercise more and improve his strength. To be honest, if it weren't for the fact that Wildfire was his own brother, and there has been a tendency to elope with that Hinata girl to death recently, Fiberholm would never have spoken about this matter. As for the fact that Wildfire likes that girl so well, isn't it all thanks to Big Mouth? Although Wildfire has no face to tell others, it has no such thoughts about beacon fires. And with the intelligence of Wildfire, it's not just a beacon fire blowing, he has ten ways to deceive and cripple him, a whole ten ways. But the marriage between Hinata and Uchiha was already a very nerve-stirring event, not to mention the crazy pride and conservatism of the two families towards blood stains. Even the village alone will not allow the possibility of merging between the two largest blood-stained families in Kiba village. Funhua didn't know what these two people were thinking, as they were only in their teens and had caused such a big thing. Wildfire is also a stubborn breed that even nine cows cannot be pulled back. Funhua is really afraid that this foolish brother will be stabbed in the back eighteen times and eventually commit suicide and sacrifice himself. But in this situation, he has no choice but to hope that his grandfather's name, Yuji Boeing, will still have some face in the high dot rise of Kiba. Although I know that my approach may have had little effect, I have also made efforts. At the worst, it can help Wildfire recognize reality and step out of this emotional quagmire as soon as possible, get married and have children honestly, and create his one-eyed big nephew, Kaisuzo, as soon as possible. According to the theory of interests, Arakawa, as the only grandson of Uchiha no Kami, is one of the most likely candidates for the future father of Jishue. It is only reasonable for Arakawa to watch coldly and wait for his nephew-slash-brother to open a kaleidoscope in the end. But as a four-year brother, the bond of family ties really prevented him from doing such a thing. His own system also gives him enough confidence in the future, and although he craves power, he cannot reach the level of madness. But in the face of the confused account caused by his own brother, only four-year-old Funghua had no choice but to hand over the matter to the leader of the Uchiha Dove sect, Uchiha, a man who was close to Kikuba, a man who was strict in his wife, a man who feared his wife, the son of Mirror, and fate itself. Uchiha to deal with. As for why the methods are so crude, the beacon only wants to say that a hundred reasons will bring results, end of this chapter. Chapter 9. Lottery. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Lottery After beating up the wildfire, the beacon felt a sudden improvement in mood and once again focused on the system. Looking at the lottery button on the system, Fiberholm became entangled again. On one hand, he closed his eyes and prayed to the familiar deities such as Sanqing Daozu, Pangu Zhenren, Amitba Buddha, Doriman, and so on. On the other hand, he began to think about the issue of system lottery in his mind. 
The lottery mode of his system mainly has two mechanisms, one is to draw directly from the template obtained from the previous lottery. Although the probability of obtaining an item is random, at least one knows the approximate source of the item. Moreover, the probability of winning advanced items in the lottery has greatly increased, which can be considered as the most basic guarantee. The items obtained are definitely stronger than his current strength standards. And the only power systems included in his current template are the chakra system from the local world and the potion sequence system from the world of the mysterious lord. Another mechanism is to randomly select a world from the various heavens and realms, which has the advantage of having the opportunity to obtain higher dot level world templates, but it is more likely to be a waste of an opportunity. Belonging to the game of European emperor and gambling dog, but extremely unfriendly to non-chieftains. The specific world you can draw depends on luck. If you draw from a daily world or ancient language plane, it is acceptable. If you directly draw from a asterisk asterisk world, it is disgusting. The template he received may appear to be just an accessory to his prize-winning items, but in reality, it is his true reliance. By spending points, Fiber Home can be purchased with clear pricing in those templates. At the same time, you can also spend points of ten, hundred, or thousands to participate in a lottery. The probability is random, and the lower limit is flexible. And relying on quickly completing the system task lottery, this path was completely out of his plan during his training career of over six months. On the contrary, relying on points to obtain treasures from the mall to enhance strength is more in line with his current lottery difficulties. For example, the bloodline template of the ninja realm. Uchiha includes the 1, 2, 3 Goyu Sharingan, Kaleidoscope, Eternal Kaleidoscope, Reincarnation Eye, and countless secret techniques and family trait ninja tools inherited by Uchiha. There are also many magic potions and magical items in the hunter template of the mysterious Lord World, ranging from Sequence 9 to the uniqueness of becoming a god. More precisely, the Sodot called template is like exploring the roots of other worlds, searching for things that are close to that object based on the path of what was previously obtained. Of course, this can also be said to depend on the strength of the beacon fire. At the beginning of acquiring the system, the beacon fire could only see the content about the wheel eye of Ujibwa and the low sequence magic potions and extraordinary items about the hunter's path in the mystery. But as the strength of the beacon increased, it was already possible to barely see the existence of many Azibo secrets and some universal fire escape content, and other sequence items could be vaguely found in the mysterious template. It can be said that as his future strength grows, the role of templates will become increasingly significant. In addition, the system's points are very valuable, even if the points obtained from completing the task and the newbie gift package are only 400, it is still enough for him to exchange a lot of good things. Whether it's spending points to activate the Sharingan to increase his strength, or exchanging the potion of the Challenger plus Arsonist, it will bring many benefits to his future growth. In theory, drawing directly from the two templates of Ninja and Mystery should be the safest option. In case of good luck, it will be a semi-divine magic potion and a reincarnation eye in hand. The power system that can open up another world is undoubtedly very tempting, whether it is to explore one's own future or obtain a brand new system, which is a great benefit. After all, although Uchiha's eyes are good, not having enough chakras is just a decoration. And Chakra himself doesn't know how deep the pit is inside, and he has seen a lot of conspiracy theories about Chakra on Tiaba. The fact that the damage to lifespan alone may have caused him some discomfort, but it is not unacceptable. But in terms of the large wooden tube behind Chakra, for the sake of its own safety, Fiberholm feels that it is better to take multiple paths when there is a chance. After all, things like Chi can be said to be disgusting to the extreme, at least the beacon currently does not have the power to resist the big barrel wood. Afterwards, one may try to touch the blood relay netting of Otakuni, but at this point, the beacon fire is somewhat afraid of the path of ninjas. Although the systems of other worlds may be deeper than chakras, at least they don't make a living under their noses. And with the system, simply saving his life in future ninja wars is clearly no longer enough to satisfy his appetite. 
Different positions and conditions require different things, and if you are strong enough, some people will lick you backwards. If you are weak, you will be despised and tested. Although the magic potion sequence in the mysterious world has rid itself of various evil god pollution, its inherent madness and pollution characteristics still make it a bit difficult for him to accept. As Captain Dunn Smith said in the world of mysteries, we are guardians, and a group of pitiful creatures constantly fighting against danger and madness. It can only be said that when there are other options, who wants to take the extraordinary path of a mysterious world is either insane or mentally ill. Who would choose this for a serious person? In other words, in the spirit of immortality and chivalry, I won't take away evil ways. At this moment, a completely new system of power undoubtedly provided him with timely assistance. So after a period of contemplation as he looked at the system in front of him for a while, Fiberholm's gaze gradually became firm, and he decided to gamble on it. Bah, give it a fight. My thoughts lightly touched the illusory button. Place your gaze on the buttons of the system, and pick up the incense on one side of the table to light the beacon. With the smoke swirling around, the hearts of the beacon fire once again silently remembered the names of masters such as Sanqing Daozu, Fuxi Shenghuang, Xianyuan Laozu, God Yahweh, Amitba Buddha, Doriman, Maiden Xiaoyuan, Morax. Hoping to sneak into Europe and get rid of non-chieftains in this lottery. If it were not for the pool of secret world, he would have prepared the ritual of praying to the fool, and even he had prepared some rice and vegetable roll and gold particles to stay in the room early. After all, compared to the big shots who know but have specific prayer methods, the fools who love the golden pound are still more approachable. Cough cough, although the gold prepared by the beacon fire is limited, it is also intentional, right? Pinched the small piece of gold in his hand, which was less than half a tail, but after thinking about what he longed for, the beacon still suppressed his thoughts. I secretly exclaimed that if it weren't for the absence of ice cream now, I could have tried the fate angel sitting under the fool's seat and prayed. After praying for the names of all the big shots he knew in his past and present lives, Uchiha Beacon Fire closed his eyes and clicked the lottery button. Accompanied by his will, Beams of light flickered one after another, and dots of light, big or small, spread out from the light curtain of the system. The original setting of the room gradually disappeared, and endless darkness spread around him. Stars flew past him one by one, and time seemed to become incredibly slow. The densely packed stars turned into dazzling light, and the darkness in the sky was instantly shattered by the light. Even though I have had the experience of drawing a lottery once, I couldn't help but be shocked by the scene before me. I don't know if it was a moment or a thousand years, but the beacon woke up from the shock and the scene in front of me once again came to my room. Seeking Collections, Seeking Recommendations, End of this Chapter Chapter 10 Template Ginchin Impact You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Template Ginchin Impact Although still addicted to the scene just now, the experienced beacon quickly emerged from the shocking emotions and regained its consciousness. Taking a long breath, the beacon looked at the red card in front of it and couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. Identity Card Dilek Legendfeld Character Introduction The noble son of the city of Mond, the heir of the Legendfeld family, and the cavalry captain of the Knights of Mond. The Ginchin Impact from Tavadi, the owner of the Eye of Fire God. Item Introduction A young knight who is still passionate and passionate has left a mark on him in a certain era, which is transformed into a treasure through some kind of great power. Ability Blessing By using your own strength, you can obtain partial fire element proximity blessings and stamina enhancement. Clone it can be transformed into a clone by consuming its own energy, and evolved by manipulating its consciousness through separation. Memory Users can access some of Dilek Legendfeld's knowledge and combat experience. P.S. The use of identity cards places great demands on the user themselves, and the specific strength and blessing are influenced by compatibility and strength. Current Fit 55 out of 100 self brought items. Eye of God, Fire. 
A symbol of fire power, the holder gains natural closeness to the element of fire, can communicate with the element of fire in heaven and earth through their own abilities, strengthen their body, and release elemental damage. Shifun Sword The Heavy Ceremonial Sword of the Shifun Knights It can easily export the power of elements and has excellent destructive power. Overall Strength Evaluation a young knight who is proficient in swordsmanship and the power of fire element. His year dot round exercise and the favor of fire element make his body extremely strong. Based on the current world power background, its overall strength is roughly between Shangren and Elite Shangren looking at the card he won in the lottery, Fenghua couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. A series of words such as the fire sword master, Grandpa Lu, and Lu Guoba appeared in his mind, making him unable to help but recall the road of accumulating raw stones from exploding liver to lying flat countless times in his past life. To be honest, in the early days of playing games in his past life, Grandpa Lu was his close friend during his pioneering period. Even after drawing powerful characters such as Hu Tao, Shi, Lei Shining, and his wife Ling Hua, he often takes him out of the warehouse to gallop in the big world. Even the wolf's end was crooked out of Linghua's specialized martial arts pool, indicating that their fate was not shallow. This knight hero from Mon City was his main character during the initial period. Although this lottery did not allow him to obtain his most ideal cultivation and fantasy treasures, it still solved his serious lack of firepower panic. There are many treasures in the Ginchen Impact world, not to mention the god's heart symbolized by gods and many five-dot-star magic weapons. It can be said that there are bugs in the game settings, such as the Flower of Life, Feather of Death, Sand of Time, Cup of Emptiness, Crown of Reason, and so on. Even if it is weakened, the beacon fire is not unacceptable. The beacon placed the card in its hand before its eyes, and after several rounds of examination, it did not show any signs. With a pinch of the left hand holding the identity card, the power of the card was bestowed upon the body of the beacon. Huge forces spread from within his body, bones and muscles underwent transformation, and hot breath emerged from his body, but the outside world remained unchanged. In his invisible body, droplets of fiery red light gathered at an extremely fast speed, and flame patterns appeared everywhere in his bones. Haramoto Uchiha's bloodline seemed to have changed accordingly, and the beacon only felt clusters of flames burning in its eyes. The body underwent a great transformation in an instant, and according to common sense, the physical body that should slowly transform completed most of it in an instant. The once familiar body became unfamiliar, and waves of uncontrollable power spewed out. Unlike the frail physical body of ninjas, the physique of the primordial gods made the beacon fire truly feel how terrifying the extraordinary physique can be. If ninjas are assassins with high explosive power, low health, and weak defense, then Dilek from Tibet is a standard flesh tank warrior. Feeling the terrifying body of oneself, even if Uchiha beacon no longer forces oneself to remain calm. But the sudden surge in strength still gave birth to an invincible arrogance, with the corners of his mouth wildly rising and the desire to laugh wildly tapping into his heart. Just as he couldn't help but burst into laughter, the potion from the mysterious world seemed to be provoked, and his body's instincts led him into the state of hunting. At any time, hunters hiding in the dark must remain calm. Hunting is not an inconvenient thing, all the things that can be obtained in the world are prey. Being small and broad is the romance and metal of hunters. He independently emerged from the hunter's rules he summarized based on his own understanding. The expanding power within the body transforms into abstract prey, constantly captured by the power of magic potions. The introduction of hunters in the system emerged in his mind, a master of traps and hunting techniques, and a fighter who surpasses mortals. With the siege of magical potions and the continuous constraint of the system on his identity card power, the beacon fire began to slowly digest the surging fire element power in his body. Feeling the power of constant adaptation and adjustment within oneself, the beacon of calmness finally breathed a sigh of relief. And with the end of a hunt, a roar of sword sounded, and the hunter's potion was completely digested. 
With a slight perception, I realized that with just a movement of my mind, I could transform into the image of Dalek in my memory. Flames of fire elements withdrew from the void and, after being purified by the eye of God, flowed into the body of the beacon fire. The surging and gentle power of the fire element churned within his body, and memories from Dalek Legendfeld instantly surged in his mind. A variety of combat skills, instincts of training time and time again, and experiences of battle after battle intermittently filled Yuzibo Feng Hua's mind. With a movement of his mind, Dalek Legendfeld's memory faded away once again, and all kinds of knowledge gradually disappeared. End of this chapter